In what is believed to be the first expulsion of a government official since the beginning of the Me Too movement, the Arizona House of Representatives voted Don Shooter out of his seat this afternoon. Cronkite News reporter Emily Richardson is live to explain how a letter from Shooter changed the course of his career. It was a turbulent day at the Capitol. What appeared to be a delay tactic resulted in a swift action instead. I vote aye. With that vote, Representative Don Shooter from Yuma was removed from office. An independent investigation against Shooter found credible evidence of sexual harassment. The details were released on Monday. On Tuesday, Shooter released a statement that read in part, this has been a humbling and eye-opening experience for me. I look forward to working to repair relationships and serving my constituents and our great state. Today, before an expected vote on the censure for Shooter, he released a two-page letter. In the letter, Shooter appears to be showing support for another alleged victim of sexual harassment at the hands of another member of the House. He explains in graphic detail the allegations and the claims they should be investigating before any action is taken against him. Shortly after the letter was sent, Speaker of the House J.D. Mesnard released a statement that he would seek Shooter's expulsion from the House. It said in part, the outside investigators who Rep. Shooter praised on Tuesday have thoroughly examined every allegation made, including the allegation referenced in Rep. Shooter's letter. After addressing issues of privacy and relevancy, they included their findings in the report. After the voting began, Shooter was the first to explain why he voted the way he did. I've said stupid things. I've done stupid things. I stood on the carpet. I took it like a man. I apologized. Can't go back to the past. I can't change it, but I can change the future if given the opportunity. Shooter then left the floor and did not return. Many other members decided to share why they voted the way that they did. Alongside Shooter, Campbell and Stringer voted no, saying that the due process was not done correctly and it was up to his constituents to take away his seat. Everyone else, except Barden, who was absent, voted yes. Many claiming it was a horrible day for the House and claiming they were upset Shooter made them vote instead of resigning. Shooter's seatmate, Darren Mitchell, said that his wife no longer comes to the Capitol because Shooter's actions make her uncomfortable and that the reality of Shooter's actions are way more more vulgar than the report shows. Years ago, my wife had a stalker. That stalker went to prison. And when we met Don Shooter six years ago, she began to see similar character traits in Don. Last to cast their vote was Mesnard. We're family. And we've just expelled somebody from this family. The expulsion takes place immediately. Live in the media center, Emily Richardson, Cronkite News. An Arizona state lawmaker hasn't been expelled in Arizona for over 25 years. In recent history, there have been two other lawmakers to resign in Arizona amid a controversy, which could have ultimately led to their expulsion. Senator Scott Bungard and Representative Daniel Patterson both resigned in 2012. Historians note that a common reason for expulsion from a position is an ethics scandal.